Hey guys, it's time for Art with Ruris again. So it has been a long time since you last uh, seen a video from me. Yeah, I've been having some busy time. So I just want to share with you some of my recent work. Yeah, so for this video, I would like to talk about how we can use the Intel AI denoiser to make our render faster so we don't have to wait for a very long iteration for your render to complete. So um, some of these works I render at a quite a high resolution of 3000 times 4500. So um, the render time mostly around one hour uh, achieving somewhere between 800 to 1000 iterations. Um, most of it only around 50% completion at most. So I just want you to know uh, the before and after the render before is denoised and after denoised. So okay this is, has been enlarged quite a bit. I just zoom it up to 150%. So you can see it's quite still very noisy, very blurry. Actually, on the skin, there, um, this is some. Uh, this is some lighting object that I forgot to remove, which I eventually clean it up in the using the healing brush. So what happened after I denoise it? Okay, as you can see, the face has um, smoothened quite a lot. The skin here has smoothened. Uh, the shirt is quite nice, it's quite perfect, doesn't look overdone. Yeah, you can see the skirt still has the detail of the fabric. And the details on the stocking is still mostly there, still very good. So if you just say view it at 100%, not too bad actually I mean if you view it on a single screen you wouldn't you probably wouldn't notif notice anything at all yeah just one thing to notice is that um, due to the, some edge detection logic in the denoiser if you render with the background transparent, things like the window pane, it may it may in add some extra pixels to it. You know, see closely again. Okay, you see this beam. Okay, this is showing the the non denoise version, the original version. So when I activate it, you see there are some extra shadows. On. Yeah, this might be an issue to you um i find the you may spend some time to clean it up or use some masking but i find it's not too bad so let's take a look at let's take a look at the completed work which I have performed so okay so this is post work and everything done yes you can see the stocking details still there Yeah, there's a slight shadow on the bar. It's not really noticeable unless you want to print really huge size. Yeah, I gave uh, the post work a bit of sharpening process so you can do that as well. Right, let's stick at another set of the noise and the 
before and after denoising. Okay, so we are looking at the D. This is already denoised. So this is the noisy version. So you can see it's quite noisy. So after denoising, okay, the details on the stocking still preserve. Okay, on the cross set address, it still preserve the details. Yeah, there's a bit of a dirtiness on the shadow here next to a chest, but it's not noticeable unless you zoom all the way in. The hair is a bit smoothened too much, but uh, eventually I give you a bit of a sharpening effect. It's not a big deal. Let's take a look at the finished artwork. As you can see, it's quite good. Yeah, so I would... Okay. I wouldn't use the denoiser. I did not use the denoiser that is over here because um, you actually need to start to set which iteration it begins and and if it is past this number I'm not sure if that studio will actually activate the denoi the denoiser on every single frame or not. Like if I set this to 500 okay you can you will notice that it performed the the denoiser at 500. But after that, uh, if you say you want to stop at 1,000, does it kick in again at 1,000? I'm not too sure about that. So, so that's why I, I'd rather not use this over here. So what I do is, uh, there's a GUI version of the Intel denoiser out there, the open image denoiser. It's the GUI version, so you no need to learn the DOS command. So I just use this on my save render after it has been saved, after it has been completed at whichever percentage that I want. I set the parameter, click on denoise, it is really fast, like maybe one minute at most. So yeah, that's, so that's about it uh, for the topic on the denoiser. So if you watch on, I will just um, perform the post work for for this one. It's another render of this model in the office. So let's go. Yeah, I hate the thing about about Photoshop is when you perform the drag and drop this thing cannot be the preview screen cannot be larger, cannot be enlarged. Not it will go out of bounds. Okay, so we will start with the denoise image. Let me bring in the bring in the rim light. Thank 
ground as well. We we'll this later. Yeah, so for the rim line, normally I'll just go for a screen or a lighter color. But we'll leave it be first. Okay, so let's do some basic post work on the, the primary image. So normally I'll go for camera raw filter. I'll just Normally I'll just go for auto first, just to see what the system proposed and if it's not too bad then I'll stick with it, if not then I'll just tweak it a bit. Um, usually we'll drop the highlight quite a bit because, because I think the program is, uh, the algorithm give a weighting to avoid um, overexposure. So as you can see I can play along with, okay maybe this too white. Uh, Maybe negative, negative 12 is fine. So, well, let's see if I want to boost the highlight over here. Um, this tone curve here controls mostly the mid tone, so. Yeah, so you can see it. It brightens up the skin, but it leaves the it leaves the dash alone mostly. That's fine. But this one dark will it will lighten up everything. So I'll leave it. A bit. Yeah. So if you want to create really dark shadows, you can use this. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with this. I'll go with this. So, okay, yeah, just before we forget. Right, let's give it, uh, I'd like to just give it like 20, 20 plus of opening. I'm asking, you can see if you just want to. You, want to, you don't want to sh sharpen the whole skin area, you just want to affect more of the clothing like the details on the stocking here. So, yeah, I'm not, normally around 35, 40 plus is enough. I'll go with 40. Go with 40 here. Okay, so it looks much better. Right, so yeah, it depends on what you're after. You might want to go for give you a bit of a sunlight filter. Sunlight filter or or soft focus. Yeah, it's a bit too soft, I think. Yeah, this one gives you a, a bit of a warm tone. Yeah, you can go with that if you like it. Alright, go with it then. Go with this then, 20%. For the rim lights, so it give a contrast of a blue versus orange. Normally, what I do here is um, save a bit of a uh, action. No worries, we will. So this action is just to okay. It adds to. Two masks on it, the, the brightness and the saturation. 
No, um, sometimes saturation just boosts it up a bit. Now you just can play around the dial too. Normally, I would just um, okay. I will just come remove this layer. So I have um, another action script. You just generate three different size, uh, three, uh, three copy of the rim lights. Uh, with different Gaussian blur setting. So depends on your mood. Um, okay. I need to. Yeah, I think magenta is fine. Oh, deep blue. I'm just go remove cooling filter cooling filter okay maybe this one is strong so I just dial it down a bit All of it first. Yeah, I think there's a slight misalignment. Oh, there's a problem. Yeah, sorry about it. Okay, let me pull this thing over again. I just want to confirm if I've made a mistake on the alignment or not. Yeah, I did. Hey, okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so all this need to be deleted as well. Yeah, I'll just redo some of the steps I did earlier. Yeah, as you can see, it's a bit too strong over here. So, uh, depending on your taste, you may use the layer mask and uh, reduce the 
intensity. Alright, as you can see, this one creates a bit of a halo on the body. I'm just going to dial this down a bit. For color dodge, okay. So assuming we uh, it's okay with you, so it's time to fix up the background. Yeah, you may want to give it a bit of a... Give it more warm on the background as well. So go to Color Effects Pro. Give a stronger warm. Sand. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, so I've just completed post work. Yeah, so basically that's uh that's my workflow for most of the things I perform. Sometimes I add some dust and likes into the scene. Yeah, you can try that sometimes. So I hope you enjoy this uh, video and keep on rendering, keep on practicing, don't give up. Yeah, you will create some really nice artwork. Just got to believe in yourself. Yeah, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for subscribing. Alright, I will see you guys 